so here we are setting my screen can you please confirm are you able to see my screen now yes i can see okay so uh, yesterday we discussed one of the project related for employee management based on a spring boot micro services so today we'll discuss all this react uh, doubt which you have like what are what all are the topic is remaining and what all are the doubt you have for this react and also we will give you some of the uh, react related some project links and some of the videos also to revise if you want you can go through that and try to practice the react based crud based applications react with the microservices string boot java related so in that video we have end to end implementations is there so today also i'll show you like how we can develop what all are those technology and all so just you can go through that video and try to implement so this is the react so here we have already learned this react tutorials so mostly react tutorials inside this we have a component and uh, which we seen like while we are creating a react applications only two things is required main one is the component and other is service inside this react so inside this component what all are the js we need this component for that service like business logic we have to write it here and once we return this business logic that will be communicate from the back end application with the java so uh, for that component and service while we write a component and service we have a multiple things we are adding here depends on the requirement suppose if you are creating a react form like we have a contact forms uh, we have to create a contact form from the ui means users can uh, fill the form registration employee registration form or any uh, department registration form and like that so for that we have a react form is there so in in this react we have a multiple uh, index are there while we want to use a form based applications where we have to create a multiples forms details and all from the ui then uh, react js is a framework which has provided multiples index and libraries so that through that you have to import that uh, libraries in your applications and that you have to create a application from the form based then if you want some of the listing so if you have a listing based like we have like suppose you want to fetch this list employee list details and all or you need to create some listings based so for that we have a react list is there like this if you want to do some event like uh, some event will be put uh, happen so for that purpose we will have a event based so like that we have a multiples things are there uh, that we can use so while we are write uh, writing a component and service class so if you want to route this like redirect from one to another uh, api and all then we have a routers and then listings are there events are there forms are there and uh, which all are mostly we are using a uh, props we have already props states and all hooks is also there some tables is there if you want to go for the tables constructor be seen like constructors and all so if you want to add this constructor then how we will use this react constructors and all so these all so these things component just we have to go through that while we are writing the component and uh, service there we can use so this is the contact like this is the applications where we have contact info so we need to create a contact info based on the spring boot react js application so that we can discuss now the second thing is if you want just uh, uh, if you will if you want to just uh, go for this any code or any project so in internet we have a many, many projects are there just basic project based on the full stack not here inside others also if you search it full stack react with the spring boot or java you will get many project like employment management department management or contact info or maybe many library management many things are there based on the scrud based application just you can go through that uh, one of the project and just you have to understand how they have written uh, basic project now here we have one tutorials are there so this is 
uh, we have a uh, 52 lectures are there so that all lectures is related for four to five minutes only so it takes only two to three hours once you will go through this lectures uh, you can create a, a react based application so just in future purpose if you want to revise this all the things whatever we have gone through this java react uh, and sql here we have a step by step full implementations are there so see here like uh, how we will create a react based application with the crud crud application so so in this crud application so see here this they are creating employee management project which we have yesterday discussed already day before yesterday or yesterday we discussed like employee management so how we will create an employee management so end to end flow they have mentioned here like what all are the technology is required how we are so this is the technology this is a back-end technology and this is the front-end technology so back-end we already told like if you are going for the java spring boot if you want to communicate with database hibernate is real hibernate with jpa if you want to uh, have database then mysql database we are using if you want to develop back-end application intellij id is there if you want to build the application maven will be there if you want to test the application postman will be there so this is the back-end front-end if you want to develop the application with the react so react latest version is 18 so 18 uh, so if you want to uh, develop application we have react js 18s will be there and then uh, we have a bootstrap css or some js library if you want then we have a white js and bootstrap is the combination of css library so that if you want and then javascript is required npm is required visual studio there we have to write the code and xcs is the way where we have to communicate with this api so here in this backend we have a react uh, in backend we have a uh, web services so this web services and here we have a this one so these all are the technology which is required while we develop the application so and how you will download so through that directly you can go through the internet and you can download this application these all are the things and java is there so that java after that my requirement is we need to create so all the basic things they have mentioned step by step so we need to create a CRUD applications based on the REST API. REST API means web services from the Java and employee management module where we have add, get, get all, update and delete employee. So how you will do? So these all are the functionality we have to do. I'm going to send the link, the YouTube link. Yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you, this one. Just I'm describing this, some basic things like mm -hmm. here after that. So this is a uh, like if you want to understand all these things so just you can go through this and also we have uh, uh, many of the full stack codes will be there you can go through this one and tutorials any anyone is fine just to revise yeah so so this now we will discuss like see what they have mentioned here like uh, we users should be able to perform this CRUD operation so here we have a uh, multiple operations add list update deletes this functionality we have to do and how you will do so this is the API like uh, API overview will be there like we have a low level design and high level designs will be there from that so how we will create a design so this is the front end design we discussed before so like routers component and service is required and xcs http library which need to be communicate from this ui to backend and this inside this backend we have rest controller we seen right so rest controller will communicate from this backend to front end and this http library from front end to back end will be communications will happen so inside this front end we have three layers routers component and service if you see any of the project we have component and service is there some of the have routers will be there but in back end we have model service and dao dao means jpa we used service means business service and model class in the back end and there will be some SQL so this is the project architectures we can say here and now
so uh, this one and after that uh, they are trying to create i seen one of the best examples which was there based on the react so that's why i'm discussing here so now they are doing the setup so how they will uh, like how we will do the setups and all so we have a setups like create a java setups with the spring boots and all if you want to go the setups also they have given here like how you will download this IntelliJ, how you will download a uh, how you will create a project so here i need a maven pro this is the backend structure they are doing backend project right so maven is required and then if you are doing for the spring boot and a spring boot we haven't discussed but if you are creating a full stack development so a spring boot microservices these things are different things from the java so this also is required so here we have to use a spring boot and uh, these all are the things groupings and all so in maven architectures we seen right pom.xml was there right so in that pom.xml we have group artifact name descriptions and all and what all are the java versions and all we seen so these things we are adding here we are adding the wave application why because we are creating a wave application which have rest full web services which need to be communicate from this our backend application to the ui application so that's why and this is the second library they are adding here why because of jpa jpa need to be communicate from this database so uh, sql we have a micro my sql sir is there right so that need to be communicate with the jpa so jpa is a specification which will be worked on this hibernate so that's why we added jpa in the backend now now see we have added my sql server library why because i need to connect with this uh, sql server so what will be the driver name sql and all so long box and all is the setters getters while we are creating more application so we have a data like all are the variables like employee data name salary departments and all for that we have to get a setter getter for that purpose they used long box now see here they are doing some pom.xml so in this pom.xml whatever the dependency they added all those things are there we have already seen these all see here mysql dependency is there lombok is there wave is there jpa is there right now they are importing this so they are they have created this overview architectures from this uh, spring.io now they are importing in any ide so any id before we seen this is the id sts in my so this is sts so like that they have intellij id they are importing the project and after that we have to develop this backend application so this is the second thing and now the question is like how we will write the backend application so once you write the backend applications we have installed everything now first we have to configure the my database so right now i am using mysql if you want to use aws sql like dynamodb or any others db from the sql then you have to add the configuration property we seen everywhere in every project we have application dot property right so in this application dot property we have to add this configuration of database which we need to communicate from the backend to database so either here we have to add the this is the url so database url is by default localhost 3306 is a sql mysql localhost 3306 is the default url so same we have uh, for this react we have localhost 3000 uh, spring boot we have a uh, backend database is localhost 8080 like that so we need to provide this username password and url then only our backend application will communicate with the database so where we have to mention application dot property there i have to mention these things so this is i have mentioned hard coded this one and this this is the auto and hard dialects we are using so this is the second third things we here we are just added the database details so that our applications will be communicated with the database if any request we are sending from the ui and that communications will happen from the ui to backend then backend will update something 
in the database like if you are inserting the employee record so where will be inserted from the UI you are sending the details then it will go for the backend backend will update in the database so first we have added the database configuration in our backend application now a, now I have to create a employee JPA so how we will write a employee JPA so where so this is our main application so after the main application we have a employee so now the question is like how we have to create a uh, employee all the database field like what all are the fields will be there suppose we are creating this employee we are creating employee details like right? employee CRUD application so inside this employee what what all are the fields will be there from the database side and what all are the fields will be there from the UI backend side so database side uh, fields will be there in this employee.java so here we have a id first name last name a strings and all so this is from this our backend so this is a backend uh, based application so in this backend based applications we have added like uh, entity entity means our backend data field our backend data field or same data field will be available in the UI also and DTO means our data based field what all are the database fields will be sorry yes yeah, so entity means this is the database field so what all are the data based field will be there like in database we have ID first name last name and email ID is the column here and DTO means our data in uh, data transfer object DTO means data transfer object which will be transferred from the UI to backend and backend to UI so the same same field will be available from backend and UI but this may be changed entity employee ID should be may be changed depends on the database tables which have either it should be same or it may be changed something will be different so here so we have mentioned here see the table name is employee means employee as a table name and this is the employee class and inside this employee class we have multiples field what all are the field same fields are there ID first name last name emails are there so we created data layer field like in database what all are the columns will be there so that fields we added here because in Java we need to add then only our backend application will map this database field and then communicate means uh, that will be communications will happen then insert delete update can easily will do so what we have made like we have created the application applications uh, from the database field we added now the next is they are doing like that you can go through that so they are creating repository so once we created a database field then we need to communicate with this repository so just they have created a repository so how they will create a repository so already we told JPA so if you want con if you want to communicate from backend application to the our uh, MySQL or any database application then we have a mul multiple ways that are there either JPA hibernate or J so if you are using hibernate then we have a multiple code need to be right so hibernate is a framework so inside that JPA is a specification feature scheme if you are extending this JPA because employee repository is an interface so in that if you want to extend the JPA JPA is also interface so both interface we can extend if you are extending whatever the methods will be there what all are the functionality will be there inside this JPA directly we can use inside this employee repository so inside this JPA we have a multiples like uh, 12 uh, 15 methods are available which all are the commons to use like insert this employee detail update the employee detail delete the employee detail save the employee detail save all the employee details like that so my requirement is here we need to create a CRUD application so if I want to create a CRUD application then we have a four operations need to be performed insert delete update and fetch so everything inside this JPA repository so just no need to write any code and all just you have to write a JPA extend the JPA repository and mention here your 
DTO class. So DTO class name is employee. So employee means database employee field. ID, name, salary, departments and all right. So that we have added means we have created a data layer object. So data layer class and object declaration we created. So if you will see these all are the internal JPA repository implementation dot class is there right. So dot class have these all are the functionality internally. So no need to write the code just you have to add this then automatically it will take. So they have already discussed the same also. And like that they have created a So now they are creating a DTO class. So layer by layer they are doing this operations like first they have created a what they have made like what all are the technologies required they downloaded that one and then they started the backend development inside this backend development first they have added the database configuration in property dot file after that they created a DTO employee object so DTO uh, sorry uh, DAO employee object which is data layer from the database side what all are the columns will be there that they have defined after that they have uh, added the repository so repository layer means database layer they have added the JPA repository so that has been communicated with this JPA repository to the database MySQL now they are doing they are creating DTO class so DTO class means what all are the fields will be there in the backend so backend will have also same thing ID name first name email and all so that we have added so we have created the backend field what all are the backend field so the same like in this requirement we have a, our backend field have same as a database field but some of the cases client need different different field like backend field will be different and database column field will be different in that cases what we have to create one one object where one class we have to create a mapper class so that mapper class will map this data means they will inform like our backend database backend database column to the backend that columns will be mapped each other like whatever the get ID is there like it will be mapped from this backend ID get name is there it will be mapped from this backend name or get uh, last name department department last name something will be there as a database that will be mapped from this last name like that so if you have different different name from the database layer or backend layer then you have to map this so you have to create a mapper class so they have created a mapper class but in this case if you are not adding the mapper class that also fine now what they are doing so we have already done all the operations now we need to write a api api layer so how see this backend layer so this is backend layer while users is sending the details from the postman or any ui so it will go for this dto like either ui whatever the field they are sending the same field is available in backend dto or not yes if they are based on this the data will be take like transfer dto means data transfer object so the data will be taken from the ui and that will be transferred to the controller layer how controller layer because we have in the back ui we have a api call from this our backend layer so through that data will be taken and it will go for the particular controller controller will check the business logic what is the business logic for this in the service layer if according to this business logic what all are the repository layer are doing what all are the database operation they are doing and then it will be insert update delete fetch the data from the database mysql database so these operations is happening from the backend layer so now they are trying to create a service layer so service layer will have a two layer one is service layer and implementation layer so service layer have a interface where all this abstract class will be there for this abstract class implementations will be there in the service employee service IMPL 
and then we have to build this add employee add employee means add the details from the rest api and add employee using the postman and then we have to test that so the same thing we are doing from this first functionality add this employee so how you will do this development step first thing from the back end just we have to create a service layer so this now because a repository layer we created now we are creating a service layer so service layer we created here as a create employee add means we are creating employee so how we will create an employee based on the dto field inside the dto field id name salary department first name last name email id or something will be there which we have to pass from the ui and backend will take this data and according to that they will call the controller and then service layer will happen service layer will perform the business logic and then a repository layer will communicate from the database layer so right now we created a service and then in this service we have mentioned create employee now now here we are doing this employee list employee service IMPL so this employee service IMPL means implementations will be there like the right now which we have used create employee so this create employee implementations we need to provide here like what operations will perform this create employee so create employee will send this detail to the repository once we create the employee business logic here then we have to send this data to the employee repository so we have added here employee repository inside this class private employee repository and now what we are doing here we are creating employee record so employee method create employee method which is taking the employee DTO employee DTO means our backend input and then we have a mappers so that mappers will map this DTO to our backend DTO to database DTO and then we are saving here see just after that we are save save the employee so where we are saving employee repository employee repository means database communications Java file is there where we have to do the save operations once we will go for the employee repository dot save because we have multiple jpas in build methods are there if you are extending the jpa there in this repository means it means we have save update delete and all will be happen by default so employee repository dot save we are doing it means save the what employee so employee means employee field is available where inside the dao inside this field so that will be sent and after that it will be save the information in our mysql database why because of i have added the property so in this property we added mysql database detail now how this will uh, request will come from the ui to our backend the question so we need to add this api call rest api rest api see here in heading also mentioned rest api so we need to create a rest api so controllers will be there so what will be the controller api the same local host 8080 is the application by default application and then slash api slash employee and then we have a create so here we have to add this service employee service because this controller need to communicate with the service layer so i have added this one now see here this is the repository so response entity equal to employee dto so this employee dto means we are doing a create employee so this create employee and then this create employee and request body so if you see here so this is a post call where we are doing a create employee so once the request will come from this uh, because in ui react applications we have to mention localhost 8080 slash api slash employee then the request will come here as a employee controller and after that we have a create employee so it will go for the create employee and then 
request body employee DTO will come from the UI we have to match this employee DTO and then we have a save employee so employee save we have employee service dot create employee right so there we have to check this employee DTO and then after that it will return <coughs> as a save so before it will go for the service layer and service layer it will go for the repository layer repository layer it will update the database and after that it will be all the response will be revert back to this uh, from uh, from repository to uh, service service to controller and then we have a, this if you hit this one see here we are testing also so if you are hitting here so the employee so this is the ui look like uh, some ui so if if you are passing this localhost 8080 api slash employee from the ui then and entire that if you are entering the first name from the ui last name and then uh, mail then this will this request will be hitted from this from the ui if you are clicking on this then it will go for this dto they will check the details if everything is fine then it will this request body then it will go for the service layer and like that the response will be filled means response will be updated in the database like this so like that we can create a four layer of application one is create update see here we we can also see this database so once you added the database we have an employee table select a star form employee which we discuss SQL query right how we will write this SQL query so here they have write the SQL query select a star form employee so after that they are getting this employee details in the database also so before this doing a practice you have to install everything database Java backend and then off react so all this installations everything has mentioned in this video only so this is the best which we have seen already we have discussed everything but if you want a uh, step by step everything so this is a 52 lectures which has taken 5 to 10 minutes only so it takes 2 hours only 2 hours to complete but you have to go through each one by one so like that you can cover here all the operations like create and now this is the others API get API so get api how we will write this query and how we will do this operation now we will cover this react tab so if you will go to react so this is delete api so we have a get api then update api get all api then update api and then we have a delete api so after this delete api we have a this is the delete api update api and all so all things you can go through by one by one now we will discuss this how we will create a react so create and set up the react application so so backend we have already seen one of the api like that you can develop others see they have already informed like what all other things is there and how you will download from this so if you want you can refer this and then how we can download this all once you download it then you have to create a folders then just import this folders and uh, you have to install this visual studio and then after that So after that we are creating here npm create this so white will take as a latest details and then we have a, we need to create a, some folders name like so employee front end employee management system project name they have created so after that this frameworks then we have to select the react and then this all so once you have added this then we have to do this npm install and run so we need to go for this particular directory which you have created and inside that you have to do npm install means all the build in build libraries things will be added here by default so how we will create a project so we have seen basic react applications how we will create 
so once you created the project then it will show here like uh, like you have created one front end project module and inside that we have a multiples inbuilt things are there that all modules will be shown here and see everything we have seen like src index package json and all we seen right before so if you go here if you go here see inside this see while we are we have a application uh, front end application so react front end application inside this index is there package json is there white config is there these all are already there package log json is there public src and all is there right the same way how we are creating here the same way this all are available see public is there src is there git ignore is there index is there package log is there package json is white config these all are the by default will be generating once you are doing this one so this is a simple step just what we have to do so if you are going for this just just you have to install all those things like a node npm and all and after that you have to create one folder in your drive in local machine or anywhere full stack or anything and then once you create it just you import that folder after that you can go for the cmd terminal here in down we have a terminal just you create a npm create white and then latest and mention the project name what all are the project name you have to create so that things you have to create npm dot npm create and this so once you create it then here we have to mention either which files either react based application then you have to create a react once you created the react java script then uh, it will be redirected the folders and ems front end so inside that we have a multiples just you can go through this directly and then you do npm install if you do npm install means react related all the modules or by default modules will be copied there so that you can create a react based project now so if you extend this folder so inside this we have multiples modules are there in java we seen multiples package uh, jars and all was there right like that we have a in react we have modules so these all are the modules and then we have src git ignore index html package logs package jsons byte.config all are inside that by default the same way we have seen here also like this now the main thing is now how we will create a react application so if you want to run then we have our npm run dev that we can run so once you run then there will be the local host but in our case local host by default 3000 is there but for that they have added some uh, 5173 now see so they have if you want to customize the port and all then you can go for this config file and then directly you can add the customization so by default we have a 3000 if you want add you can add that also so like that we can create a basic project now we need to add all the functionality so all the functionality means crud based functionality how we will create so the same way we have added in the backend like that we need to add in the front end also so if you will go for the front end we'll see the like in this in this we have a src right in this src we have a component and then service line so like that we have to create a component and service so how you will write a component and service we'll see here so if you want to add or modify any dependency versions and all then just we have to go for the package.json so package.json we have a, a dependency of react so react 18.20 version we are using right now react dom is 18.20 some script is white script we are using as a dev and this all so if you want to change any dependency or if you want to add some dependency then there in package.json there we can add if you want to change the proper port then we have a server if you want to change some any index html details then we have index.html there we have to add this change it like this now we need to create a 
project so they have already defined like what all are these things html css javascript html not these all are the basic index if you want you can modify it here also some of the things so So now adding this bootstrap so uh, in this project they have requirements for the bootstrap in react using npm so if you add the bootstrap concept so it's a bundle of html css libraries so that we can add if you are adding then we can use npm through that we can add this then how you will add here see here so npm install bootstrap hyphen hyphen save then that will be added so if any type of features if you want to add from this then you can go for that and that, that will be added by default here so how you will see here this package.json there we can see the and inside this modules you will see all the bootstrap functionality is there now you can use all css main max row robots grids everything all the functionality you can use so where we can see in this modules node modules so any modules or any features if you want just you have to do npm install and then take the latest functionality now uh, we will have to create a so this is the functionality which I need to discuss list employee features front-end implementations now our requirement is we need to fetch the list of employee from the front-end so how you will fetch this so once we click on this list of there will be some buttons will be there one week once we click on this list of employee details then the details will come like employee id first name last name and email like this so how we will write this functionality once we click on this list of employee details like that this information will show in the ui so somewhere this one this ui will communicate once users is click on this list employee then it will be communicate from the backend backend means java and backend will communicate from the database then only we will get this detail right so we need to write in this ui functionality we have already seen the backend functionality and database logic now we have to see this so how we will develop so there is a development step uh, so this list of the employee first we have to create the functions component see here we need to create a component and then prepare a dummy data means list of employee to display if you want to test the dummy data just create then after that you can communicate with the backend then write a js js code and then we have to import this import this list of employee component and in app component so whatever the component you added that you have to import in this app dot component so see here in this src we are creating a component right all are the by default things was there now the new things we are creating a component what component list of component of employee detail like we can say list employee component if you are creating here component then this js we have to write this implementation what i have to write see here so we are writing this function so functions will have a list employee component which need to be returns and list employee component so that that will be there in this div so we created a div now we have export default list component So here they have created just dummy data for the testing purpose because suppose if you have not communicated with the backend now just you have to test this dummy data like whatever the functionality we creating this function list of employees working properly or not like that we have to create a constant dummy data here we can pass this parameters like first name last name and all multiples data and then we can test the functionality then write this js code javascript code and then you have to check so they they have created one now 
they are creating this html tags like as two headers so this headers then we have a tables inside this tables we have a row then tables header employee first name last name and all so these things and then dummy data they are mapped so how where they are mapping this employee based on this key and then we have id first name last name once we add it here then if you run this one so see here like this dummy data we are getting here because this is our ui we are not communicating with backend or a database just we added hard coded there in this ui so how you will write this hard coded and test this applications like that we can do and suppose if you want to communicate with the same features in the ui uh, sorry backend with the database then without hard coding we have to write also so this is the way they have discussed here So we have a list of employees employee service right so instead of component we created a component now we need to create a service so we already seen in this service we have to add the backend url controller url right so this service we are creating now before last videos we haven't seen any services has created and they have hard coded now they are creating a service service means this nxcs is there which have a api call which need to be communicate from front end to back end which we seen in this architectures also right so we need to import this nxcs and then we have a rest api so this rest api there we have mentioning this url right http localhost 8080 means back end api api slash employee means whatever the request component we are creating that will be communicate with the service and service will have a constant base url that there we have to communicate from the backend now see here we have a list of employee constant we created and here we are doing this axis dot get and rest api means this backend api we are calling like that we can communicate and we need to remove the hard coded value here from this component component have functions and then after that we have a returns this all the fields in the html waste like what all are the fields required and how these all things in this and here we mention as an employee set employee so whatever were the data will coming from this backend so see here in the list of employee we have a constant employee set employee equal to use state so whatever the data is coming from the back end after this we are setting here so all the states and all we are setting and then we have use effect through that we are showing this list of employee response in the our ui so this is the way which we have to show and if any errors will be there then we have a console errors and where we have to show this api details in this container so this container is id first name last name and all so see here now we are getting some error why because of cross origin has not mentioned there so in the back end we have to mention the cross origin see this is the cross origin which we have mentioned there like the front end we have already mentioned the ui url from the back end but in back end also we have to mention the front end url so the cross origin is star means whatever the request is coming from the back front end all will be accepting accepting here either you have to mention the proper url as a cross origin and the stars also so once you do then you see here the by default url is localhost and ip is by default localhost ip is 127.0.0.1 and if you see here the database the same record is there right 
the same record is there and we are fetching this record here also so like that we can create an application from the react based with the java a spring boot and mysql so all the functionality is there so till now we discuss backend functionality now we discuss front end one functionality like that we have three more will be there like update delete find all and see if you want to add adding some headers and footers so last day before yesterday project we discussed like how we added the headers and footers so headers should be something like employee management applications and footers should be something like this guidelines so like that if you want to add before this application in every page then you have to create a component so create a component of header component and create a component of footer component like and this component use in app component app component is the main component where we have to add in all the component so like that we can add the headers and footer component and then inside that just you have to add this html so directly you can search on navigation bar bar html code and all so you'll get this all things and then you can write it here So they have created header and footers. So last project already we seen like there was a headers and footers was there. And if you want to add some interactive headers and footers, then you have to add some div footers and then uh, some span and then uh, some colors, some text, some front and all that you can add and then define this. What all are the things you have to. Then if you go for this then they are configuring routing so routing is a way which you need to be route the data so what is so how we will use this routers so this is the development step in install this routers dom because whatever the features we seen here right if you go here uh, whatever this functionality if you want this all we have if you want event if you want routers if you want key if you want list if you want forms anything if you want from here then what you have to do just you have to import install this library to, by using npm so npm is the command through that we have to install this library so once you install this library then modules will be generated in your applications then you can use that functionality by using functions list contact anything events and all so right now they want uh, to add this routers so if you if you want to add this routers then we have a, to do this one npm then we have to create routers app component always we have to create a app component and once you create the app component if you require business logic then you have to write the service layer then configure this list of employee component with this app component and then test this route so this functionality you can do it and then we have like So here they are doing add employee we have seen like get employee like that we have add employee component so you need to create a app add employee component once you create the add employee component then we have to write a service uh, in this service employee service we have to add this add employee component So they see here so while we create a add employee component we have created one button so once users will click on that so after that there is the options which have to add this so like that we have a add employee component and then uh, some form handling if you want so if you want to create a form handling like this form once we just will click on this add employee then some form should become 
so how will it will become you have to add this form react form so this react form is a features which need to add through this npm we have to install this module once you install this module so there will be form form base things will be automatically it will come like this see name this all so we have different different forms are there so whatever the forms you want that you can add it here so once we click on add employee there was nothing was fine. now we are creating a form here so through that features you can add a form then how we can connect this add a form so once you users will click on the submit button then it will be add in this our database so how it will be connect with our backend database so this add we have to create a service inside this service we have to mention this we have to navigate this one list of employee after submissions and then uh, create a service class so employee this service employee dot component will call this employee dot service method once service method will call this will be navigate this page after submission done like that so like that we have uh, all those features are there like after that once you see the last application this react application has been fully developed with the CRUD applications with this all those processes so this is the functionality which I have made so we have an XCS HTTP library through that we are communicating here we have a REST API library through that we are communicating here we have a repository JPA call through that we are communicating with database controller service layer inside this backend in this react we have a route and service layer route component and service layer like this so just go through this all and understand this functionality of the real application with a spring boot okay. okay just just go through this it take only uh, one hours or two hours all are the five to ten minutes video and tomorrow we will discuss this all the doubt sessions like whatever the doubt with this Java and SQL or react we will discuss tomorrow all the start sessions and all. Okay. So I am sending to you all. Just go through this video to understand this. Okay, any doubt right now? No. Okay, then I think we have tomorrow Did will be the... Tomorrow, I think, will be the last class for this. Uh, so, whatever the doubt you have, that we can discuss tomorrow and just go through these videos. You will understand everything here. Okay, yeah. okay then. Thank you all. Thank you.